All right, here we are trying to fix a leaky faucet. At first I thought it was the valves themselves, but whenever I tried to replace them, if you look back in there, the seat for the valve actually stripped out on me and didn't want to budge. And at first I thought I'd be okay with it, but this is what it did to the rubber seat that goes on to the end of the valve. And this is a new one, you know, nice and flat. So I'm gonna have to, you know, slip that in in a little bit. But for now, I have to try and figure out how to get that sticky thing out. I found another video on YouTube that involved a screwdriver and a hammer. So I figured I would give that a whirl. See if I can also maybe make a little bit better video for everyone in the process. Just for a little bit better quality. So, there's a faucet. And on the video I saw, this was actually a very simple process, no special tools. All you need is just a flathead screwdriver. You want to make sure it's you know pretty good size so that it fits in without going completely through. I've got you know the new valve seat here, and you want to make sure you're wide enough to not go all the way through. You want to be able to get a good grip on it. So stick it into the one that's stripped. Make sure I've got it fit in there in the corner so that it's not you know gonna round off anymore. And just give it a couple taps. And they're nice and snug. So let's cross our fingers and see if this works. And we're spinning. Look at that. And who knows how old this tub is? It's been in here since we've lived here. All right, I'm gonna tap it again because my screwdriver work loose. I want to make sure that seat comes out. But the seat is turning with no problems whatsoever. The video I saw, you know, mentioned possibly using WD-40. I didn't use anything. I tried replacing this when I originally replaced the faucet stem and stripped it out, but at that time, I didn't use the hammer to knock it in. But, there we go. Where there's the old seat stuck to the end of the screwdriver. Ain't that simple. Gotta get it off. Bingo. Alright. And I don't have the official wrench, but these don't really seem to take all that much force to tighten everything down. So I'll just slip this in there, snug it down, threads in nice and easy actually. All right, quick and simple fix. Now I just gotta go put the new washer onto my valves on my stem. And to be honest, I actually had more trouble getting the screw out of this relatively brand new stem than I did off of the stem seat. You gotta be careful because at first they used a screwdriver that was just a little bit too small and it tried to strip the head out on the, on the screw, but all right, we are good and in there. So we... Make sure this is open enough so I'm not going to hit the seat as I thread in. Ah, there we go. Got that started. Now get the wrench. This quick one, just a double-sided head, but three-quarters inch wrench is perfect for it. Okay, 
need bingo on that. And we're done.